hello and welcome back. Today I'm riding on a Nikolai Ebop. So this drivetrain, super neat, super unique. Most of it is made out of carbon fiber. It is not, I don't believe it is Nikolai's drivetrain. Nikolai is the company that basically makes these bikes and uses specific aluminum. I'll put that up here for you guys. But it is a 14 speed gearbox. All the gearing, I believe, is inside of the hub and it's electronic. So it actually talks to the Bosch motor. And when you shift gears, just like when you're shifting on a normal bike, you need that pause in between pedals so it'll actually engage into the next gear. This actually pauses itself to engage into that next gear. Now, what I have noticed is you do have to kind of pause a little bit going uphill. I don't know if that pause is just not long enough or it's just, I mean, it's not really logical to be applying that much pressure on any shifting mechanism like that, so. Hey. <laughs> Hi, Zora. Hi. Ah, good. <laughs> yeah. Whoa. Yeah, electric. Oh, that's funny. So that there is Zora, and she is our new bar mom. She runs a bar here in town that's open. She's been taking care of us every night. She actually barbecued for us one night. Absolutely massive spread, so good. The hospitality here is just amazing. If you're here in Parsburg, Definitely go check out Zora's. Here's her bar. Awesome little place. All right, so next thing to talk about, I'd say, is this little Ooh. cluster you get here. There's a lot of information in here. It's like actually having one of those external GPSs. Heart rate monitoring, distance traveled, watts you're putting out if you're a workout dude. Super cool. We can also change our, okay, so there's EMTB, tour eco and wow did that take a lot of power out of the bike like a lot i actually feel like i'm pedaling the bike with it in eco so that's interesting that was definitely something that was not noticed when i rode the decoy when you drop down to eco mode you still had quite a bit of power this is very minimum so if you wanted to work out on this bike you could still roll an eco pretty good so we'll bump her up now to eco to tour Okay, a little more power. So something else really cool about it is it's a mullet. So I got a 29er up front and a 27.5 in the back, which is pretty cool. I've always liked that. I really loved that about the decoy. I would definitely do that to my YT if it didn't mess with the geometry, which I don't want to do obviously, but it would really be pretty cool to slap a 170 fork or do whatever adjustments required to my current fork to be able to put a 29er on it would be pretty neat. But most bikes are coming that way now, which is really cool. So this tour mode, I still feel like I am pedaling for sure. Starting to breathe a little hard. We'll see what it's like going up. I know this gets kind of steep. Yeah, the shifting is really nice. Maybe we'll bump it up. There we go, EMPB mode. This is probably what you should be climbing in, trying to save power if you want that easy climb. This is nice. I'm all the way up here, no problem. This would be the perfect time to note that although this bike is completely aluminum and an e-bike, it really isn't that heavy. I really kind of thought it would be heavier than it is. I remember the decoy being very heavy. This doesn't feel that heavy, but you never know. All right, this would be Schindelberg again. This time we have an e-bike for it. Suspension feels pretty well dialed in for me, for sure. That's a lot of, a lot of rock, a lot of jank. Oh yeah, this thing just mows over these rocks. Got a little roll in here. Yeah, suspension is nice. So a little slide around in the rear. We're good to go. Oh, that suspension feels so good. 
So back to the transmission, well, the shifting. Another cool feature this thing does is if you go to a traffic light, let's say you're near the 14th gear, you're in the hardest gear. You go and you stop at a traffic light, the motor automatically shifts down to about fourth or fifth gear so that you can start pedaling very easily again, which is super cool. I'll have to test that here just to see how long it actually takes for your bike to downshift itself. All right, let's test it out. Didn't downshift, so now we have to apply a lot of real power to it. Oh yeah, this is showing little to no trails, and so far I've already found a few. Yeah, look at that. This downshift's going uphill so much better. You gotta give it that little pause, but that motor helping you with the pause, crazy. Uh-oh. So another keynote. Right now, I was in too low of a gear, and then make it up the hill. But as you see, there's actually a gear indicator here, which is super cool. And I can downshift it without being on the bike. All right, we get to meet and ride with the owner of the Hershen. So that's gonna be cool. His name is Johannes. I'm so good. Oh. Oh, I, I mean, I'd be surprised. I think the bike looks heavier than it is. Even just picking it up, it's not that bad. Okay, before I talk shit about these Maguro, they are feeling actually kind of nice. What's weird to me about them is they're really spongy. And that's kind of what seems to be the hang up for me. They're spongy as hell. Nice. Wow, the suspension is so good. So good. This thing is right. nice, man. <laughs> Just 
again this day, man. Oh, I can feel that back tire bouncing around, too. Wow. Oh, sliding. Slipping and sliding. Oh, ho, ho, ho. <laughs> no. no way. I was sliding. <laughs> like, no. <nope. laughs> no way. I can't keep up with you. <laughs> Great. Yeah. Thank you so much. No, thank you.